Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm here to come at you with another pepper review. This one is going to be the Rhino DD. Pretty cool looking pepper. It's got like a almost like kind of scorpion look to the bottom of it. Really elongated pepper. And these are from uh, Patrick Wilson. If you notice that little bit of red, that's because I was just doing the uh, last pepper review and I touched my hand and yeah. It's a little, it's, it's from peppers. But anyways, um, this Rhino DD is uh, another um, capso, cap, bleh, sorry, caps, capsicum chinense variety, um, somewhere around a million, 1.4 million. It was actually created by uh, Drax Diego, who is a pretty well-known hybridizer among us uh, chili heads. Um, go anywhere from like three three and a quarter inch long i'd say um it's about what you could um they're apparently not very stable so you could get quite a bit different look to it depending um let's see uh, orange when fully ripe uh and it's known for getting like some burn on it and like um some other peppers all these are, like I said, Patrick Wilson sent them to me. Um, like, you'll get certain blushings to it. Kind of like uh, this guy right here. It kind of blushes out to a different color from sun. So apparently these can do that. Um, the plant can get about, says, three and a half foot tall. A pretty heavy producer. Uh, let's see course full sun you want because most nightshades like full sun like tomatoes and whatnot um doo -doo -doo. yeah so chinense again no surprise that it's probably going to be floral some they're all over the place sometimes they can have a little bit of fruitiness to them um yeah so we can go ahead and check it out i really like the shape of that that's really cool and unique looking like there's so many different types of peppers and I go ahead and get her cut up on my favorite cutting board and with my favorite pod knife um so this giveaway we'll go ahead and guess a number between let's say 500 and a thousand five hundred Sure, whatever. I'll go ahead and check this out into the center. And the pepper, um, you'll be guessing that in the Pepper Freaks um, post when I post this video to there. This is what the inside of the pod looks like. Very long placenta. Not a ton of seeds on this. And let's see if you can see how oily it is. Not super crazy on the oil production, but if it's all trapped in that placenta, it's, it'd still be pretty, pretty warm. So along this, let's see if I can get it. I do see like a couple of drips on this side, like right there. You see that little drip of caps, uh, capsaicin right there? Yep, that nice oil drip right about my fingertip smell very very much chinense um very floral it, it seems like it's going to be your classic like chinense flavor we'll go ahead and cut off the tip to that because i'm not trying to kill myself i'm just trying to taste it and I do see still a little bit of like uh, capsaicin oil down here at the bottom, kind of trapped in some of the pockets. So it's still probably going to be pretty dang hot. I got some almond, uh, almond milk next to me because, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. Ooh. <coughs> wow. <clears throat> that heat hits quick. 
whoa. Uh, wow. A slight fruitiness to it, but definitely pretty floral. Ooh, that is a very quick striking heat to that. I couldn't imagine chomping on this whole thing. Like, oh, there's plenty of people that can do it. I'm definitely not one of them. Wow. Um, not too bad <clears throat> in flavor compared to some of the other Chinense varieties. Yeah, I'm going to cool that down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, um, pretty interesting. Uh, definitely worth like um, growing for the style of what it looks like. <clears throat> and if you want to use it for certain sauces like um, habanero type hot sauces but you want it a lot hotter this is something that you could definitely use um, again thank you Patrick Wilson patrickpepperspatch.com go ahead and check out his seeds I believe he does have these up I don't know how long but pretty cool variety so thank you for tuning in see you on the next one